Hey everybody, this is Jackie Angel with Ascension Presents and today I'm going to share with you a great book by Ascension called No Greater Love. It's a biblical walk through Christ's passion written by Dr. Edward Sri. You know, maybe this Lent you're wondering, um, how can I enter into Christ's passion? How can I unite myself more fully into the sufferings of Christ? Because I know, especially with COVID and all this stuff, like, it's like, man, Lent never ended. That's how it feels, right? Lent never ended. I was watching Father Mike Schmidt's homily on Ash Wednesday, and man, he challenged me. He, you know, he was saying like, Lent, it feels like Lent never ended, and man, so much was taken away in this last year, but... It's not like we all entered into suffering and became holier. In fact, people like me, um, you know, some of us just resorted like, I just want to be comfortable and I just want to escape. So we go on social media or we turn to games or whatever it is. I'm like, dude, I feel that so much. Like I didn't really enter in the sufferings because it was like, I just want to get away from the sufferings. But I feel like even just reading and diving deeper into the passion of Christ, I'm like, man, Lord, you know how weak I am. Whew, you know how much I love comfort. I I don't like to suffer. I think that's a human thing. You know, it's such a human thing. We we don't want to suffer. It's a human thing to want to be comfortable. And it's it's a, it's a natural thing, right? So we need supernatural grace. Um, when we encounter suffering, temptation, that we really need to pick up our cross. Most of us just don't want to. I know I don't want to. It's a human thing. Like, I don't want to carry the cross. You know, <laughs> I don't want to carry that cross. And my a pastor I used to have, he'd say like, do you expect your cross to have wheels on it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but I, I know that I need to enter into that suffering and whatever sufferings come my way um, and whatever temptations come my way. Um, I, I love that in first Corinthians chapter 10, it says, God will not let you be tempted beyond your strength, but he, you know, he will also provide a way out like God, there will be temptations, but, and God won't tempt you beyond your strength. But with that temptation, he will also provide his grace. He will also provide the ability again, that, that to endure, endure it. I mean, all we have to do is look at the saints, you know, there may, there may come a day where, I'm going to have to experience extreme suffering. There might be a day when we have to experience extreme persecution, whatever that may be. Um, I need to look to the saints as well. They're the ones who show me that it is possible that when there are trials, when there is suffering, when there's persecution, the saints show us that what Jesus went through, um, that when we go through a kind of martyrdom suffering, that we also can do it. Sometimes we think, oh, well, Jesus, he was God, you know? He could do whatever he could. Of course, he could go through that extreme pain and be, you know, live, live through that. But look at the saints. The saints show us that it is possible that they could go through such crazy stuff, whether it's being eaten by lions, whether it's being burned at the stake. I mean, no matter what it is, they their humanness by God's grace, like right, that the natural human part to not want to suffer like it was God's supernatural grace that allowed them to endure that. And I think, um, you know, if you want to enter into this passion and, and just understand it more, this is such a good, great book. So No Greater Love, A Biblical Walk Through Christ's Passion by Dr. Edward Sri and put out by Ascension. I'm reading it for Lent and already I'm just like, oh, I love this. I love that I can enter in not only and is my head, you know, gaining knowledge. I'm like understanding more scripturally, biblically, but I love that it, how he writes is so down to earth. And it's like, he's a teacher. So he, he's a professor. And so he's applying it to, but he's also like someone who disciples people. And so he's also like, how does this apply to your life today? You know, this isn't just something that happened 2000 years ago. This is actually still transforming your life and my life. And I know already I've been blessed by it. This is doable for like, if you if you wanted to start a Holy Week to read this, you could probably read this all in, during Holy Week. But I'm taking my my sweet time because <laughs> I'm just, I you never know, with children um, and living in Texas with power outages. I'm like, oh gosh, let me get stuff in here while I can. <laughs> so, anyways, I hope you pick up this book. And yeah, and I hope it helps you as much as it help, it help is helping me in my spiritual life. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.